What's going on guys? Etika from the Etika World Network here to bring you some more of our Pokemon Showdown segment. Yeah, I've been gone for a little while, you know, um, but, but forgive me for that. I'm going to give you guys the videos on a regular basis now. Just had a crazy past few days. The drugs are bad, okay? <laughs> Anyways, we are going to go back into Showdown. I got myself a brand new OU team, which I threw together literally this morning. And it probably took me around 30 minutes, but I think these guys are pretty solid just because there's a lot of good names on here. So um, let's just go break it down really quick. Okay, so I got Skept... A lot of people were telling me, it's not Skepta, you fucking nigger! Like, I, I know it's Skepta. I, I, it's just kind of a force of habit, you know, the C in there. I, I know it's silent, but the C, man, it throws me off. Anyways, we got Skepta in there, and I made this to fuck Rotoms up because, you know, I, I'm tired of those things, you know. They, 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 they need something specifically to counter them, so I'm hoping that Skepta does the job. Then we have Cuddlelanix, my wonderful Gyarados, especially defensive. You guys remember this beast from 5th gen. And then we have Copulator, my damn Heracross, Mega Heracross. You know why I call it that shit, right? Because it comes into fuck. Copulator, man. I have never seen Pokemon. Like, well, well I've seen Pokemon Straw. I mean, I thought I got your man's hand on the team, but, but, but Copulator, god damn. Mega Evolving, and using the Rock Blast and the Pin Missile and the, the Bullet Seed. This thing's shooting shit all over the place. And then you got Nosferatu in there. And it's pretty much just made to be a Greninja counter. And at the same time to be really, you know, Crobat in general is just a really great asset on the team when used correctly. Then we have Ralph in there. Um, Metagross is pretty good because he'll be able to set up some Stealth Rocks, Bullet Punch. And this time I'm not being a lunatic and going in there with the Choice Band set. No, no, no. Life Orb this time. Oh wait, no. Leftovers. Okay, well, yeah, we'll see how it works out. And then finally Darmanitan. Just because, you know, why not? Darmanitan pretty much fits in any team because he can wreck something. I mean, with Sheer Force and everything else this guy's got, He's a monster, so let us look for some games, and by the way, just to clear things up, I didn't really do too much testing with this team. This is going to be somewhat of a new experience for myself as well, so you guys will be able to get to see me get destroyed, while well, I see myself get destroyed, you know, fun for everyone. Let's lead out with our Manitan in this situation. I don't think... Okay, you know, it's kind of funny, like, didn't I talk to you guys once about the fact that I was deciding between Dimantan and Embor? And what are we fighting in Embor? So, um, anyways, we're gonna go for the Earthquake here, and it kills him just like that. I, I thought he would most likely would switch into Gengar, but it's safe Earthquake, because it's safe, you know, it's really in the game to be predictable shit. Hmm, I didn't even analyze his team in the preview, um, he's got a jump luff, which is a little bit odd, I, I haven't really seen one in OU yet. Dragonites. Man, I'm telling you, I've been seeing people's videos where Dragonite comes through with the multi-scale and that goddamn weakness policy. All you gotta do is hit him with an ice move and it's game over, man. A very scary Pokemon, but he's going into Gengar now. I don't like this because if I can go into Gyarados, who is especially defensive, I'll be able to probably wall this Gengar, but he might just have Thunderbolt. But I'm more than willing to feel it out. I'm gonna probably switch Gyarados back out after this. Let's see. Hey, you see Gyarados, especially defensive, he eats those up, man. I mean, it's crazy. A lot of people wouldn't really see Gyarados as a defensive Pokemon, but it works out really, really well. I'm scared of the Thunderbolt, though. If you have it... No, no, it shouldn't have it. It really shouldn't have it. Okay, yeah, Sludge Bomb. Okay, good. Hey, I got poison. Why not? <laughs> Why the fuck not? <laughs> no, in my luck. <laughs> Why? You're the wall! <laughs> I hate this game. <laughs> but okay, um, we, we are actually okay, because... He got... Well, he's paralyzed, so I mean, we could just attempt to power punch him, but... I don't know, I mean, I just don't want to lose Gyarados so early, because we might still need it for maybe Heracross? I don't know. Maybe it's not that bad, but you know what? Yeah, let's just stay in there. And he's disabled. Okay, this is one of those really annoying Gengar, so... Now that we know that he has disabled, let's switch into somebody who will be able to pretty much take what Gengar wants to do because right now I don't I don't want to lose Gyarados unnecessarily so let's go into Darmanitan. He's paralyzed so we'll be able to outspeed and he's going to go straight for the Shadow Ball. That was a bad move and a special defense drop. Nothing's working out for me today. I want to go for the Flare Blitz. Yeah, the Flare Blitz. Actually no, let's go for the Zen Hyper. Just to avoid any extra unnecessary recoil damage. After all, because Sheer Force and Life Force and all that jazz, so... Right now, I'm bothered by the Dragonite because I know for a fact he's going to probably set up a Dragon Dance on me. And if he does, I'm not really going to have too much to take a hit. But it's a good thing that we do have Gyarados still alive, because at least with this, 
will be able to slow him down with the Intimidate. Yeah, I'm just staying stay in and go for... Oh, okay, he's just going to go for the EX speed, no problem. So, um, that's fine. We can now go into my copy later, and we can do exactly what my name suggests. Let's go in there and hit this guy with the Rock Blast. So far, we are 5 and 4, so, you know, not a bad start. Just a, just a lot of Pokemon that are difficult to play around here. But with the Rock Blast, I don't think he would switch out into, um... I don't think he would switch out into his um, Excadrill, and if he does switch out, then that's fine, because we'll be able to just hit this guy with a close combat, because I highly doubt he'll be able to kill us in one move with Excadrill, you know? And his balloon is gone, so now he'll be effective to the Earthquakes in case Metagross can come in and get an opportunity to strike. And now I see this is a great... You know what, this is fine, we can just go for the close combat, fuck it. I don't, I don't see how he could threaten us at this point. I mean, Mega Heracross has a lot of bulk, so even if he does decide to go for an Earthquake, it's not going to be able to kill someone here. So he pretty much loses Excadrill. Yeah, this works out really nicely. So now we are at 5 and 3, but that defense drop, I'm not liking that, so I'm probably going to have to switch the copy later out. Okay, he's going to go into his own Heracross. But this is fine, because we have Crobat for this situation. I just don't want to take a Rock Blast to the face, so you know what? But then again, we might need Gyarados for Dragonite, so... I'm thinking we can go into Wreck-It, Ralph. You got this. Yeah, I knew the Rock Blast was coming, man. It was a little too obvious. And I'm hoping that I can threaten this guy out. Maybe, like... I, I kind of want to pretend like I had the Zen Headbutt, you know? I came in really, really fast. You know I got the Zen Headbutt, dude. I don't got the Zen Headbutt. But, but, he, but he, he might think I have the Zen Headbutt. You know, let's just go for the Stealth Box. Just because, you know, at least with the Stealth Rocks, it's going to fuck up Jump Pluff and it's going to fuck up the Dragonite. And Dragonite especially is the most important person to get fucked up because I don't want that multi-scale to leave him at full HP. He's going to go for the Arm Thrust, which is somewhat of a questionable choice because Arm Thrust, in comparison to Close Combat, the damage output from Close Combat is far greater, but with the Arm Thrust, I guess it works with the whole skill length thing that it gets when it Mega Evolves, but still doesn't make any sense to me. Kind of dumb. Uh... Let's just go for the Earthquake now. Wait, no, 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 he's a bug! Fuck! Damn it, showdown! <laughs> Alright, this is stupid. Well, whatever, I was gonna lose Metagross anyways. It doesn't really matter too much. And we got Nosferatu to end Heracross's reign, so... This works out pretty well for me. We're gonna go for that Brave Bird. Straight up Fizzy Stardust in the building. Brave Bird everything. That might just be the solution to win this game, because... After all, um... Well, then again, Dragonite does have EX speed, so... I guess I can't Brave Bird everything, because that thing will slow me down really fast, but we got Gyarados for that, you know, that's why I wanted to keep that Intimidate around, I was just a little scared, you know, I've seen these extreme speed Dragonites run trains on teams, it, it bothers me, man, it, it makes me not able to sleep at night, so I just wanted to play 100% careful with that, you know what I mean, and here it comes, sure enough, so, I could go into Gyarados, but I'm worried that he might predict me doing that, and decide to go for like maybe a, a dragon dance or something, which would be very scary. But whatever, this is going to Gyarados. Intimidate. He's gonna fucking dragon dance. Okay. But this is okay because we do have Roar. So if he decides to dragon dance again, he'll be phased out. No, he's just gonna dragon. Dance. Okay. I really hope he doesn't have fire punch. With a plus one in attack, I'm not sure if a fire punch will be able to kill me. I think it might, but we have a lot of bolts, so we should be good. Oh, let's just go for the rock blast. And Dragonite, he, he's such a he's such a friendly looking Pokemon too. He's got that big ass smile on his face, you know. But in reality, this thing is one of the biggest threats in OU. Oh, and he, yep, uh, sure enough, he has the weakness policy. But thankfully, Mega Heracross is going to slow that down. That Rock Blast is a guaranteed five hits. It's all right. And now, finally, we got this Jump Pluff. I know he's probably going to go for the flying move, and it's going to tear my asshole apart. It's definitely going to tear my asshole apart, but I don't know. I mean, we got Nosferatu, and I think Nosferatu would be faster than Jump Pluff. Let me take a look. Yeah, we'll be faster. I think everything's fine. So, you know what? Yeah, we can we can lose Copy later. It copulated quite a bit with his team, so it's okay. He's gonna go for the Sleep Powder. What the fuck are you doing? Alright, now that... Alright, I'm, I'm a little scared now. Go into Nosferatu. Alright, Sleep Powder. I... 
I mean, I knew they carried that, but I'm not sure what the hell he wanted to do. Okay, he's trying to stall me out of here. All right, we're going to end this right now. No score out to finish the game off with a great throw, and we should be fine. I mean, I don't know, man. When I saw the sleep powder, it kind of took me off guard. But Jump Pluff is going to get KO'd here, recoil and all that. And that's a victory right there. So you know what? I don't know at this point if that was luck or skill. But, you know, so far, we're good. You know, the first game on camera with this team, and they, they performed pretty well. I don't know, they seem like... They seem like they're solid when you look at them on paper, because, you know, they got the water, grass, fire, poor thing, but we'll see. We'll do a few more games and we'll test this team out just to make sure that they are fully functional. So, 